Hey there, what is going on guys? It's Parks at Two Film One. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to set up the Redon Tech Fire System within your game. <coughs> so to get started, you're gonna to wanna to click on the first link in the description and you're gonna to wanna to get this model. And you might also want to just check out the documentation real fast or follow along with me as I go through the documentation. Uh, because things might change in the future. So now you want to go into your game, and let's see. So the prerequisites is you have the model. Yep, I have the model, and you should have teams set up for the firefighters. So let's go ahead and do that. To set up teams, you want to go over here to your model, service, scroll to the side, teams, insert, and now you get this team service right here. You want to create a team for the firefighters if you don't already have one. Just want to name it whatever. And I'm going to leave this on auto assign assignable so that way when you spawn in you are assigned to it. And next thing what we're going to do is go ahead and grab a house to set up the system on. I'm gonna get like a yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and get this trailer home I guess yeah this is made out of concrete not that only yeah I'm just gonna grab this it has no interior though no, oh, fine, I'll just choose the first one. Then. Okay, oh, I'm just gonna use this. I'm gonna always do that just to make it a bit easier. Alright, now what we want to do is we want to set up a location for all of our houses to go into. It makes it a bit easier for organizing our buildings or whatever. I'm just gonna name it buildings and put our house into there. And now we want to go through and select uh, everything that we don't want to light on fire. So for me that would be all the tires. And as you can see in here, we want to select all the parts that you do not want to be flammable, and you just want to name them non-flammable. Super easy. And it's also going to require me to select all this. Alright, now you want to find a part and that spreads across the entire house and you want to name it main smoke as for here. And you want to make sure that this is facing upwards, which means you probably want to set it to 0000, zero, zero. oh sorry, not position, you want to set its orientation to 000, zero, 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 zero. 
so that way it's facing upwards and well the smoke will go up and not down and just go through and double check make sure that you have everything that you don't want to light on fire name is non-flammable I'm going to quickly name this as building. I saved that as building just in case. And I think that's done. Should be done. You, you, you will probably want to go through more detail and select more things to name non flammable, uh, but that's obviously up to you and you will have to do that. And now that we're setting up our done setting up our buildings, we want to move on to the next step, which is settings and final step. So we want to finish off by inserting the model from here. And when we insert it, we'll get something like this. We can just go ahead and open this up, delete thumbnail cam that it doesn't need to be there. Take fire hose, put it into your teams or wherever you want it to be. In this case, I'm just going to put it in starter pack. And you can read over the instructions. You can, if you wish, um, you can read the license if you wish. It's just uh, AGPL 3.0. Uh, you can delete those. And if you want to, you can also move this into service for service. Let's go over settings now. So. Um, we want to start by naming these first ones our fire departments. So in this case, I've got the fire department team. I'm going to name it that. If I have more than one fire department, for example, I have fire department two, then I can also put in fire department two, and that will work. Um, min firefighters is how many firefighters must be in game for fires to start. So, for example, you might want this to be two, four six whatever i'm going to keep it at one this is combined with all teams Min minimum large is how many firefighters must be in game for a large fully involved involved structure fires will be required before spawning so in this case i'm going to leave it at one but in your game you might want it to four or something depending on how big your houses are and then this is the locations of your buildings. You can go ahead and ignore this one for now, the brush fire, as that's not in game yet, or in the system yet, sorry. And you can name it whatever you want, which is, uh, and here you want to put the location of your building. So in my case, that'd be game.workspace.buildings. And I can also, if need, if I, for example, have more than one location with buildings in it, then I could also do that, which, now, as you can see, I just duplicated that. I can call it test, and now I can have two locations with buildings. Um, rather than that, you can delete that, and that doesn't need to be there. Um, wait times, I recommend you just don't change this. It's not really important to change. And enable API, this will allow other scripts to read information about what's going on. I'll go over this later in the video, and if you want to know more about that, then you can check out this advanced usage section of the documentation. Um, I recommend you leave everything below here, such as developer, the same. You might want to double check and make sure that the set the debug is false, and you want to make sure your version is latest uh, with their latest release on the GitHub, but I mean, you don't have to do that. You can just leave it the same. And go ahead and save your game, which in my case I can do by going up here and hitting save, or sorry, not save to Roblox, save the file, or I can use Control S. Um, then you just want to hit play here, and as you can see, there was a error. That is because I forgot to remove one thing. So even though brush fires still aren't in the game. You might want to just clear out this table, because it will still loop through the tables. And 
so you will want to do that. You will want to delete that and go ahead and save again and try again. And as you can see, oh, boom, immediately we got a large fire. Let's see. It is a small fire, not large, but I guess it just selected all these parts. And just a quick note, you can take damage by walking into this, except you will not die. You will just take up to like, until you're at 10 health, but it's just to add a little bit more realism. Um, there is a way to get around that, and it looks like my fire hose is broken. So sometimes the fire hose does break. I'm not sure why this happens. Uh, it's just Roblox being Roblox. As you can see now, it's not broken. I'm not sure why that happens. But we still have a fire again. Oh, it looks like that's me and Buddy. Hold on. Just make sure that we have this anchored. <laughs> All right. And we can go ahead and the fire. Let out the fire on the outside. There's no fire on the inside wall. Um, over here, we have this fire. Just to speed up this video, I'm going to quickly just go like this and run this command, which will put out the fire for me because I'm lazy. And in a moment here, we should see down the console that read on tech fire system v2.0.1, fire has been extinguished. And now the smoke is gone and everything is back to normal. And if we were to wait 10 to 60 minutes, I think that's how the setting was, I don't remember for sure. Um, let's see. If we were to wait 10 to 30 minutes, then the next fire would start. It would be randomly chosen, obviously, but today I'm not going to wait that long, so... Yeah. Uh, as you can see, if we go in here can't really find the script, but you can see that the settings is still here. You can't change the settings after the system starts up, so don't attempt that. And yeah, well that's all for the Read on Tech Fire System. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can go down to the link in the description below and join our Discord server where you can either open a ticket or uh, inquire your question, comment, concern in the community support channel. <clears throat> and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the system, and hopefully this tutorial was useful for you, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Be sure to check out the Discord down below, because we make many free products. Peace out.